and honey. So I don't know where my little mallet is. So y'all already know this drill. No, no singing bowl today, honey. <laughs> hey girl. Beautiful Libra, how are you doing? My name is Simply Valka and today I'm going to be doing your weekly general tarot reading. Now Libra, I also do your weekly you versus them tarot reading, which I'll leave a link to over here for you to check out at a later point if you'd like. But Libra, whenever it comes to any of my tarot readings, be sure to rely on your intuition because put it in perspective, just a man reading some tarot cards to you, Libra. You know your situation better than I ever possibly could, so take the cards that resonate, Libra, and leave what doesn't because I promise you I'm not going to be offended by it whatsoever. And Libra, also, if you find some cards that resonate with you in this reading, I would really appreciate it for you to take the extra time to give this video a like and subscribe. And then also let me know in the comments below which cards resonate with you and how they do because that's how I keep up with y'all through the comments, right? I always am super appreciative when you guys take that extra step to support my channel uh, because, yeah, I know you guys don't have to, so I always just am super appreciative, Libra, when you do that for me. Um, and then finally, Libra, before I start your tarot reading, I just want to remind you and say that I don't think any tarot reading should make a decision in your life because ultimately it's your life to live, not mine, not anybody else's. So this here is this tarot reading here these tarot cards are just here to give you some food for thought a, a perspective rather for you to consider libra as you go throughout your week so keep that in mind and so with that being said let's start getting into your weekly general tarot reading libra now we have the cat spirit coming i forget who this came out for as well but we have the cat spirit coming out for you my beautiful libra and this is number 13 equaling to four claim your independence uh libra i really enjoyed this reading uh this card just because this is almost like uh letting me know libra that you guys are already in this process of um trying to elevate yourself trying to push yourself in some way and that's why you're in this energy of uh, claiming your independence now this could be in a multitude of ways libra this could be a situation of where you're claiming your independence by uh focusing more into your financial career. This could be uh, claiming your independence in a sense of um, taking away that codependency, right? Maybe there's, you've been stuck on a person or stuck on a situation, and now this is just like the week where you're just coming back into your own, you're refocusing or you fixed your focus um, and getting back on track for whatever it is that you're trying to do. And really just, you know, really living in your truth, I feel, Libra. Now we have the Hermit card coming in for you, number nine. Now this is a card of uh, probably the process of how you are claiming your independence, Libra. This is a card letting you know of self-reflection, uh, a card of where you kind of are just deep diving with yourself, seeing what makes you tick, seeing, you know, analyzing the situation, assessing if you've missed any facts, Libra. Um, I do more so get this sense of you... <sighs> Hmm, how do I put this, Libra? I get this sense that you, through you trying to claim your independence, it's almost like um, you are marking, the, you're seeing a lot of things that have been weighing you down. So how do I put this, Libra? It's almost like you've noticed like the patterns or the habits that could be even completely unrelated to like your work, for example. Um, but you see how it's affecting your workplace, um, your ability to perform, I guess, Libra, just because, you know, maybe recently perhaps you haven't had the best of diets recently, Libra. Maybe recently you haven't been in the best of mindsets and you haven't been in this place of trying to actively create, right? Maybe you've just been, um, something that came to mind is a Libra. Maybe some of you guys have been, uh, working off of the uh, fumes, basically, where you're kind of running off of an empty gas tank, so... I do feel like it's kind of essential for you, Libra, to uh, be by yourself during this time. And I know some Libras are not going to be happy with this uh, statement just because I know for some of you Libras, you have been in this place of wanting to collaborate because you have been having that collaborate card come up for you recently, Libra. But I can't help but feel like this is really a time for you to just put yourself as the priority. This is a time for you to really... Um, have an honest conversation with yourself, really, of figuring out where it is that you want to go in your life and how you want to get there. Um, I really get this sense that, Libra, for some of you guys, there's just like this sense of, um, how do we put this, Libra? I get this sense that 
you're finally like accepting a situation for what it is you and that's part of the reason why you're probably going into this hermit phase to probably um now that you like put something in perspective you're just like oh, okay now you realize where it is that you need to work on your own um stuff right um now with this queen of air coming in that you're clearing away that no longer serves you i feel like it's related to your ten of fire or your ten of wands just because um you're just noticing the baggage you're noticing like what the stresses that are causing in your life libra um yeah it's almost just like you're taking this week just to like um shut out all the outside energy and just um really <sighs> you're being pretty critical but i don't see this as a bad thing i feel like you're claiming your emperor status of where you're being proactive you're taking a leadership role into your own life and i just see this as like a beautiful progression libra of you claiming your independence by releasing releasing a lot of your own inner stuff here um but i don't see you having vision of that unless you are like by yourself locked away in your own you know i guess you don't have to be locked away libra but i'm um, just like by yourself not really uh, allowing distractions anymore i feel like that's been a big thing for you libra is distractions perhaps um and you're just t kind of like putting the distractions to the side and you're just like all right libra it's time to create it's time to boss up and that's why you are going in this emperor status claiming your independence libra so beautiful starting cards libra so let's start getting into the actual tarot rose now for this reading so how this works libra is we're going to be doing a row for my libras that are interested in hearing about their career um and their finances um then we'll do a row uh tarot row for my libras that are interested in their social situations romantic platonic doesn't matter what have you just your social relationships right and then we'll just do a final uh thoughts row just to clear th uh you know fine-tune some energies you know wrap the reading up so libra let's get into your career and financial situation with the tarot cards so the cards that i pulled are the justice card so this is you libra this is your card this is the four of pentacles coming in as well for you libra and then the death card so two major arcanas cards that kind of seem a little bit all over the place right because it's almost like in this sense, Libra, right off the bat, I'm getting this idea, especially if we're going to consider what we had in the beginning messages. I'm getting this sense that you're finally, again, like closing off this phase that I feel like this is more so addressing like a mindset. These three cards of, that you've had when it comes to your financial situation or like how to improve your financial situation. You're finally closing off this chapter almost of um what's been slowing down that progress right bringing things back into balance libra i can't help but feel like there's something that um it sounds very confrontational i guess libra but i can't help but feel like there's something that you yourself were doing that was kind of hindering your growth and it's probably been like a couple uh i would say like i'm being shown like two like the numbers two and three so i like to keep things in short term so i would say in the past like two or three weeks libra perhaps maybe you were being a little bit distracted and i feel like you're putting an end to that uh distracted mindset and bringing things back into balance really uh getting back into your element libra and then this is when you start investing your four pentacles this is where you start you know once you clear away that you no longer um those things and bring things back into balance libra um i feel like this is when you're just starting to really go all out on some specific project and putting all your pentacles all your effort and energy into that so let's get some clarifiers now libra see what we can get from this so the clarifier that i have for the death card is the two of swords so definitely with the two of swords it's a it's a, an extremely guarded energy it's an energy that's that kind of lets me know libra that you probably have been dealing with this for a little bit you this death card this thing that you're overcoming um this part that has probably been impeding in terms of your uh, financial situation you're aware of it right there's like almost like this choice uh thing that you've been going back and forth with do you want to choose work or do you want to choose pleasure do you want to um build like a business or do you want to just have a side hobby do you want to have an etsy store or do you want to you know work for somebody else right libra i feel like you're just getting clear on the decisions and um 
almost just like making the logical choice finally, right? You already had ideas of what it is that you're wanting to do, what it is that you're wanting to create and how you kind of want to do it perhaps, but you've always been a little bit um, just distracted. I just keep hearing like you just were like a little bit distracted and now you're just like back to like 2020, like focused vision on something. The clarification that we have for your justice card is the six of wands. So victory, right? This is letting me know um, the scales are balancing into your favor, Libra, essentially. And so this lets me know, like, again, like, <laughs> Libra, I hope I don't piss some of you, I mean, I guess I don't really care if I'm going to be honest, Libra. Um, <laughs> I'm not here to tiptoe, but like, I really just get this impression, Libra, that you are finally overcoming this last, last hurdle by identifying that you are the one stopping yourself from going over this hurdle. Does that make sense? Uh, I just feel like you're uh, realizing some type of uh, pattern or mindset that you have that really shifts things for you. Um, and then the Four of Pentacles, the clarifier that we get is the King of Cups. So you definitely, through this phase, like you're sinking your energy into something that really creates something beautiful. It creates something beautiful, but it also fulfills you, Libra. So whatever, I can't help but feel like Libra. I'm gonna pull probably one more card for this just because, but I really can't help but feel like Libra. There's something that like, hmm. Something's like big, I feel like coming in for you. Um, I know that just sounds like super, just like, it was like, okay, Valka. But <laughs> with this Three of Pentacles, is confirming it to me. Now remember, Libra, at the beginning, I was saying that you were wanting to um, collaborate in some way. And this Three of Pentacles is a contract card. So I really do get this sense that once you like put this end, like once you get back to business like usual, Libra, and really start put, like focusing your energies on this creation again, I really see some type of opportunity presenting itself, some type of document or have you presenting itself to you that you can consider. So very interesting spread for that, Libra. Definitely let me know. Keep me updated on your uh, career because I have a really good feeling for you, Libras. It's like you're finally, by you adopting or uh, acknowledging uh, where it is that you were limiting yourself, Libra. That's such a powerful wake up moment for you. And I just see that wake up moment really tilting the scales into your favor for things. So beautiful, 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 Libra. Now into your social situation, my Libra, for these tarot cards, we have the King of Coins, the uh, Queen of Wands, as well as the Eight of Cups. Oh, Libra, <laughs> I feel like I always do this for you. Um, with this storyline, it's letting me know that you seemingly um, have walked away from some person, some, yeah, some person um, in, the, in the name of stability and passion for you. So almost Libra, you know how we talk about like that hermit card that we had for you before Libra? Um, where you're kind of like closing out outside energies and even though I know we have that three of pentacles I feel like that's like a new energy so something entirely separate like a new person coming in to bring in bring forth that contract, right? With this it seems like uh, You know with that clearing away of like the things that you were kind of impeding on You know we I talked about how you're clearing away the distractions and it's almost like some people were distractions for you, Libra. Some people were taking like taking you away, energy away from your own passions. And I feel like uh, you're acknowledging where it just wasn't building up anything stable in your life or building up your empire in this way. And now you're kind of walking away, <clears throat> as I'm losing my voice, honey, you're kind of walking away from that situation. Um, and I, I don't really, I mean, we'll pull some clarifiers, obviously, but I feel like this is more of like a silent thing. This is more of like a mental note Libra's having where it's just like, you're just keeping to yourself this week, um, especially. Yeah. Okay. So Libra, the clarification that I have for your Queen of Wands, Ten of Swords. Uh, this is letting me know of um, some of you Libras might be... Um, you might have like, this is letting me know, like, it's like you're realizing someone wasn't supportive of like your uh, passionate endeavors, Libra. Someone wasn't supportive of that. And so because of that, that's with the, clar the clarification that we have for your Eight of Cups comes the Tower card. So it's like, I can't help but feel like you kind of just like, I'm getting like this image, Libra, of you like leave, oh, like leaving a house that you've been living at with somebody, and then you're just not like coming back. Like you don't even you don't even bring like a suitcase or anything. You're just walking away entirely from this. You, it's like 
one day like you you go from like really caring about this person and really invested into this person them having all your attention to the next day it's like they don't even exist almost um king of coins the clarification that we had for it was the temperance card um i feel like this is good for you though libra i feel like um whatever the social situation is it was really distracting you and really taking you away from um just building up again as i was saying that stable uh empire for you and i feel like you're just in this place now of um identifying things that were bringing your emotional state out of balance and just um keep moving moving on from it you're just putting that you're keeping it in the last chapter you're ready for a new chapter libra that's what i'm getting is that you're just you're ready for this new chapter and you're not interested in bringing anything um forward that isn't trying to elevate that what it is that you're trying to actively try what it is that you're actively trying to create libra all my words are just so jumbled honey so libra we got into that now let's get into the, your final row see if there's any uh, final messages overall libra what i would be saying is like this is just a really beautiful week of um put put it keep the focus on yourself don't i would say i want to challenge you libra in like having like a solid week of just no distractions and really just putting yourself and your um passions on focus and i think you'd be really impressed by what it is that comes from it libra i feel like that's the thing is like you've had a lot of just like outside distractions and those outside distractions kind of enable you to um not put more energy into the things that it is that you're trying to actively create and i don't think it's like them trying to do it on purpose right i feel like there's just like distractions trying to like it's like trying to um make a friendship or make a connection work with someone that is completely different from you that don't that doesn't share the same passions the same um likes or you know all of that like there's just nothing in common right and i feel like you're kind of identifying that because as you go through forward in your life and progress you know some things come and go right and i feel like you seemingly have like out, just outgrown um some situations libra so the tarot card final tarot cards i have tower card follow you again with the world card and the strength card all major arcana honey you had a lot of major arcana libra this week in your reading so definitely some huge energy huge transitions going on for you if the tower card coming in twice wasn't self-explanatory enough um definitely i see you the i see i see libra how many times can i say that <laughs> i see libra truly you just like putting a match to like your old life and just closing the chapter of that book and really just starting anew i don't know what happened to you libra that really just like jump started this like you're just interested in creating a completely new life you're not interested in anything from the past right you're having this tower moment with your six of cups um with anything in the past again just like this repetitive message or just where it's just like anything that's not bringing forth stability in your life that's not trying to create stability in your world libra you're just done with it right you're you're putting things back into balance the justice card following you as well again libra so really beautiful cards libra i would say I, how i would take these messages is to um keep the focus on yourself have an honest conversation with the things in your life that take up your time and if you don't know it off the bat right off the bat libra even i would suggest just to um pay attention to where you put your time um for this week see how much time like this person takes from you and how much you know it's just like i feel like you it sounds super i guess it sounds inhuman in the sense of being like okay how much time am i wasting with each person but you know you don't have to view it in a way of like where you're wasting that time you just have to think about what that time is providing for you and you know this thing it's one of those weird uh, adjustments people need to have where they start valuing their time more and i feel like that's kind of what it is that you're doing libra you're valuing your time more because you're just understanding your value more and by understanding your value more you're creating a lot more in your life so it's really beautiful libra so yeah, Libra, that's the cards that I have for you for this general tarot reading this week. If you enjoyed this tarot reading, I would really appreciate it for you to take that extra time to give this video a like and subscribe. I would love for you to let me know in the comments below uh, how which card resonated with you and how they did. And then be sure to share this video with a friend that you think might be into my messages. Until next time though, my beautiful Libra, I hope you have a beautiful day. Bye.